This is how the old Hubbardston mill on Fish Creek looked yesterday. This morning at 4.30, this was the same mill. At 7.30 a.m., it was gone. It was fully involved. When we come down the hill, I live four blocks up the street, and I could see the flames from my house. It was so bright, it just lit up the whole inside of the building. And then I got near the window to look at it, but it was so hot, you couldn't stand near the glass. The heat was coming right off it, just like a furnace. The mill was built back in the 1850s and was the landmark for Hubbardston. Today, it's no more. And now the major question is, how did it start? No, nope, it's under investigation. No one lived there, and there was no electric power, but some have some possible theories. Yeah, uh, just before the steelhead season started and stuff, a, a gentleman that bought it uh, put up new fencing and gates and stuff to keep people out of it. Uh, so the fisherman wouldn't drive down in there and fish on his property there. There was quite a bit of talk around the town that people were pretty upset about it, you know, that, you know, they didn't have to, you know, why did they have to do that, you know. A fire inspector is now going through the runes, searching for some kind of evidence that can point to the demise of this giant landmark. In Hubbardston, Art Wainwright, TV10 News. Again, no one was injured in that blaze, which remains under investigation by the Hubbardston Fire Department today. Steve? Well, two people are dead today following a high-speed chase overnight. In... There, and he has more in this report. This was the scene early this morning as fire engulfed the old flour mill in Hubbardston. Residents of the small town watched firemen battle the blaze in disbelief. That's part of history, right? Okay. It's gone. I got pictures of it. I got pictures of the first bridge that was ever built here. It's been there for so many years, and uh, it's ever since I was little, you know, I remember going over there watching it, and it's kind of sad. It's really depressing seeing it, you know, go after all these years. The mill has been a landmark in the small town for more than 100 years, but the fire that broke out this morning destroyed it in just a matter of minutes. Fighting this blaze was not an easy task because of electrical lines that surround the old mill. Firefighters had to watch helplessly this morning until the power could be turned off. It's uh, always been something we've worried about because it's something we can't get at with all the power lines at it. Uh, we've got all the water in the world here, but with the uh, chance of somebody's life getting killed with the power lines dropping, we were more or less stuck staying here on the bridge just squirting water at it. The Hubbardston and Ronald Township Fire Departments are still investigating the cause of the fire. In Hubbardston, Hank Winchester, First News at 5. Thank you, Hank. Lansing's mayor along with...